Hello and welcome back to our second part of the text tricks tutorial. My name is Eran Stern and first I just want to remind you what we did last time. We created an audio waves animation all defined by some parentheses with range selectors. Now in part 2 we'll create something else which is also very handy to use. But first, I want you to think of a number between 1 to 1000. Good, now don't tell me what it is, I don't want to know. I just want you to forget it now. And we are ready to begin. See what I did here? I completely erased your memory, so now you should be ready to input something completely new. So here goes. We are going to create the annoying counting circle graphics which we learn to love or hate, depends on where you're coming from. Okay, enough with this nonsense and let's start to create a new comp. I'll call it counting circle and set both width and height to 640 pixels. The duration should be 5 seconds but you can choose more if you need a longer animation. I'll settle now for 5 seconds and say OK. Now make sure that you can see the title and action safe grid and this time I'll choose a different font. I'll choose Comics Sans MS and I will define the bold version of it. The size can stay at 100 pixels but I'll reset the tracking back to 0. Now I'll press on the vertical line key on the keyboard. I'm not sure what to call it and from what I've seen it's located on different places on various keyboards but you should easily identify it, it also has the backward slash on it and here we want to create a vertical line character so just add the shift key and press it few times until it will fill the screen. Ok, confirm your text input by pressing enter and while the text is still selected grab the ellipse tool and draw a circle mask on the screen. Now we need to be very precise here, we want a perfect circle which starts from the middle of the comp, so for that press CTRL or COMMAND and add to it the ALT and SHIFT modifiers to start to draw your mask from the middle. If you need to move the mask while you are drawing it, you can add the SPACE key so you can align it to the title SAFE mark key. Once you are there, first release the spacebar and then you can release your mouse. Now open the text and under Path Options select Mask 1. Next, switch the Force Alignment to On and if you want you can add more lines to this shape to make it look better. Just select the text tool once again, place the cursor on the path and add more lines using the backslash vertical line key. Now we need to even the spaces between them, for that you need to play with the first margin value until you see fit. Wonderful, even Steven. What? Nothing, nothing, I just love this phrase. Ok, moving on. You can close both text and masks and from the animate menu choose to add an opacity animator. We will use the same method more or less to create the animation here, but it will differ a bit because we do need a different effect. So for this task, let's first reduce the opacity to 0, then we can animate it over time using our range selector above. Ok, so open the range selector 1 and at the first frame set a keyframe for end at 100%, then move forward 1 second and set it to 0. Now move to 10 frames and select the text in order to add a second animator. Again choose the opacity animator and lower it to 0%. Next let's create a reverse animation. So at 10 frames set a keyframe for start with a value of 100%, move 1 second forward to 110 and set it back to 0. If you create a RAM preview, you can see that the first animator will start to draw the lines while the second one will fade them out 10 frames later. This is exactly what we need here. You can now close the whole layer 
and you can also trim it to end at 110 on the timeline. Next, select it and duplicate another copy. Drag this copy to begin at one second in the timeline, and if you want the animation to continue, which I'm sure you do, you'll need to repeat this stage until you reach the end of your comp. So you can select both layers, duplicate them, move them in front of the layers that you see, and drag both of them to the two second mark. I'll do this once again until I reach the end of my comp. Now let's generate a RAM preview to see our counter in motion. And by the way, if you need a different design, you can choose to add more vertical lines to make it more tight. And you can also change the timing so it can be faster or slower. Just make sure to keep the relationship equal so the layers will connect with each other and generate a flawless animation. You can also render this comp to use as a clip in other designs you are making. Again, this is your call what to do with this baby. I only want to make sure you'll keep it warm in the winter and cold in the summer. The rest is up to you. So as a final step here, I will return to the 3D speaker comp, drag to it the counting circle comp, scale it a little bit down maybe to 85%, and quickly I will also add the fill effect and choose a black color for these lines, so they won't compete with the other elements already present here. And that's it, let's return to the first frame, move to full screen, and create a final RAM preview to see our glorious text animation in motion. Well, I think it looks pretty cool, and although we didn't create a cutting edge design here, it still looks pretty nice, and definitely can serve you in your own creations. But hey, are you looking for some new cutting edge stuff? If the answer is positive, I can share with you a little inside information here. As we speak, there is a new DVD in the oven. It's almost ready, and it will be packed with very cool stuff. Along with the collection of all my existing tutorials from last year, that will include all the footage and project files for you to use, the really interesting news is that it will also include a new never been seen tutorials. And I can promise you that these lessons alone are worth the price of the whole DVD. I can't tell you more at this stage, but I do invite you to frequently check creativecow.net for more info to come. What I will show you though is a sneak peek of the cover art. Yep, that's it. I told you, it's a sneak peek only. So stay tuned. Until then, this is Ran Stern for creativecow.net saying goodbye.